got another problem on the board. We want to take the derivative of this function. Again, it's one of these functions where I've got variables in both the base and the exponent. When that's the case, I know I'm going to need to use logarithmic differentiation. So I'm going to start by turning this into an equation. y is equal to sine x to the tan x. And the reason I need an equation is because I want to change this. I want to take its natural log so that I can use the rules of logs to bring that exponent down. But if I take the natural log of something, I'm changing it. The only time I'm allowed to change something is if I'm changing both sides of an equation. So now, I do want to take the natural log, and I can. Because we have the definition that the domain of this function is everything where tangent is defined and sine is strictly positive. So that's going to make y a power of a positive number. That's going to make y positive. So I can plug in to the natural log. So now rules of logs allow me to bring that tangent down. So we've got the natural log of y is equal to tangent of x times the natural log of sine x. So again, we've converted now from a log of an exponential expression to just a product so that we can use product rule. So let's take the derivative of both sides. The derivative of the natural log of y equals the derivative of tangent of x times the natural log of sine x. Here, this is implicit differentiation. 1 over y, y prime. That's going to start to feel very familiar. Here, this is product rule. So we'll have the derivative of tangent of x times the natural log of sine x plus tangent of x times the derivative of the natural log of sine x. So 1 over y, y prime is equal to the derivative of tangent is secant squared and then times the natural log of sine x plus tangent of x times, this is a function composition, the derivative of the log function is the reciprocal function. So we'll get 1 over sine x and then times the derivative of sine x. So 1 over y, y prime is secant squared x, natural log of sine x, plus tangent of x, which I think I'm going to just write as sine x over cosine x, times 1 over sine x, times the derivative of sine x, is cosine of x. <laughs> so we have 1 over y, y prime is secant squared x, natural log of sine x. <laughs> and I can do some canceling here. I can cancel the signs. I can see that sine can't be 0 because then I could, otherwise I couldn't plug it into cosine. I'm sorry, into natural log rather. And I know that cosine can't be 0 because if cosine was 0, tangent wouldn't be defined and neither would secant. <laughs> So I can actually simplify that to 1. Okay? I'm not changing the domain in simplifying that because I still have encoded in the rest of this that neither sine nor cosine is 0. All right, so y prime will equal y times this quantity, secant squared x natural log of sine x plus 1. And then I want to make sure that I give my answer just in terms of x. We started with an explicit formula for y as a function of x, so I want to make sure that I plug that back in. So it'll be sine x to the tan x, and then times secant squared x, natural log of sine x, plus 1. All right, good stuff.